Every time you initiate an action, there's a shift in the world around you. You might not always perceive it immediately, but God operates in marvelous ways. By His grace and through the influence of the Holy Spirit, pathways begin to emerge. You might wonder how He manages to align events and circumstances, yet the wonders of God are beyond our comprehension. He sets things in motion, triggers certain events, and then, unexpectedly, a door opens for you, illuminated by the guiding light of the Holy Spirit. God whispers to your spirit that He will pave the way for you. Embrace His assurance, for He says, I am crafting new chapters in your journey. He's rejuvenating your personal life, your marriage, your friendships, your entrepreneurial endeavors, and even healing your physical being. Taking the initial leap is crucial. Many of us, due to our human nature, feel the urge to have everything meticulously laid out. It's true, there's value in planning. Preparing, strategizing, and setting plans in motion are critical. But sometimes, we become so engrossed in these preparations that we never embark on the journey. We might overanalyze or become paralyzed by overthinking. While it's imperative to draft plans and visions, from my experience, real transformation occurs when you take that courageous step forward. I've observed in my journey, with God by my side, that regardless of all the anticipation and forethought, nothing propelled me as effectively as that initial step. The moment I chose to venture into the unknown, to break from my comfort zone, my life's trajectory shifted. You must not settle for the ordinary. Embrace God's miracles and promises. It's an invitation to transcend the status quo, to achieve the unimaginable, and to defy the odds, regardless of where you come from. Now, this initial step may vary for each individual. For some, it might not mean abruptly resigning from their job. Transitions like these demand careful thought. It's essential to discern the season you're in. Pray and let God guide you clarifying what this season holds and outlining your unique journey. Ask yourself, what action can you undertake now to enrich your life? Perhaps your next step is immersing yourself in a course or workshop. Maybe it's diving into research to hone your skills further or discover more about your passions. For some, it could mean joining a Bible study group, finding a companion to delve into scriptures with and passionately seeking God's teachings. As you study, research, and connect with like-minded individuals, you not only expand your horizons, but deepen your relationship with God. No matter where you stand, remember, with every brave step forward, you invite God's miracles into your life. So take that step. Moving forward often requires a delicate balance between trusting God's plan and exercising your free will to act. Trust in Him doesn't absolve you of responsibility. Rather, it empowers you to make choices with faith and conviction. God has provided you with tools, gifts, and unique experiences to help sculpt your journey. The key is to identify them, nurture them, and put them to purposeful use. Imagine your life as a garden. God provides the sunlight, the rain, and the fertile soil. But it's up to you to decide what seeds to sow, how often to water them, and when to harvest. Each choice you make determines the yield of your garden. Do you wish to grow vibrant flowers, lush green trees, or nourishing vegetables? Your actions, driven by your faith and trust in God, will shape this spiritual landscape. Moreover, remember that every gardener encounters challenges. There will be days when the sun is too harsh or the rain's too scarce. Pests might try to devour your hard work or weeds could threaten to choke your plants. Such challenges aren't punishments, but rather opportunities to grow, learn, and become more resilient. They teach you to adapt, to seek new solutions, and to lean on God for guidance. With Him by your side, no challenge is insurmountable. As you traverse your journey, be patient with yourself. Personal growth, much like the growth in a garden, is not always linear. There might be seasons of rapid blossoming, followed by moments of stillness and introspection. 
understand that both are necessary and integral to your spiritual and personal evolution. Engage in genuine conversations with God, not just in moments of despair, but also in times of joy. Cherish the blessings He bestows, for they are reminders of His eternal love. As you move forward, let your actions be an ode to His grace, showing gratitude not just in words but in deeds, fostering a life filled with purpose, meaning, and unwavering faith. In God's vast realm of grace, every day offers a chance to embrace a new learning, to grow and to move closer to the purpose He has set for you. Your journey can begin with something as simple as a personal commitment, whether it's dedicating yourself to a 30-minute walk daily, prioritizing hydration, or pushing your boundaries to initiate conversations with new people. Who knows? God might work His wonders through the most unexpected individuals, bestowing His blessings when you least expect. Every individual has a unique journey, and every starting point is distinct. Think of the wisdom Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. imparted. While it's not an exact quote, his message was clear. It isn't necessary to see the entirety of the road ahead. It's about the courage and faith to take that very first step. And what I'd like you to grasp is that when you venture out, with God's strength and the guiding influence of the Holy Spirit, new avenues open before you. More often than not, these pathways and opportunities remain hidden until you decide to move forward. Sometimes the vastness of our goals can be overwhelming, seeming almost insurmountable. The extensive list of tasks, the unknowns, and the challenges can appear intimidating. But it's essential to shift the focus from the overwhelming whole to the immediate present. God, in His infinite wisdom, reminds us of our unique talents and capabilities. He nudges us to lean into our strengths, serving the world with the gifts we've been blessed with. Each step you take, even if filled with uncertainty, is a gateway to learning. With every new stride, you'll find fresh perspectives, make new connections, and realize more about your innate strengths and capabilities. As you chart unknown territories, remember that learning is an ongoing process. The world evolves, and staying updated and informed is essential, but this continuous learning starts with that initial bold step. Many times we become victims of our own overthinking, which inhibits action. The fear of errors can be paralyzing. However, within God's embrace, there is no definitive failure. You either witness success or gather valuable insights. When situations don't pan out as anticipated, instead of seeing them as setbacks, perceive them as lessons. Chronicle your journey, detailing your actions, their results, and the knowledge you amass along the way. These lessons become your guiding lights, helping you navigate forward, ensuring you grow and refine with every experience. Growth and transformation often stem from taking action, no matter how small. By committing to something as basic as a daily walk, you not only benefit physically, but open yourself to new environments, fresh experiences, and unforeseen interactions. Such commitments, though they might seem trivial, can lead to profound changes in your life. With God's endless blessings and favor, the journey ahead is ripe with opportunities. Embrace the path and the potential it holds with open arms. Every journey begins with a step, no matter how small. Imagine this. You decide to take a simple stroll to the local park near your residence. During these strolls, you often cross paths with a familiar face. Over time, these coincidental meetings evolve into friendly conversations. One day, they share their passion for a running group they're a part of and extend an invitation for their upcoming charity run. You might be initially hesitant, but you decide to give it a try, and surprisingly, you develop an affinity for it. Fast forward a few months, and there you are, fully transformed, not just physically, but mentally. This incredible transformation in your life began with that single, seemingly insignificant step the decision to walk to the park. These small decisions, while they might seem trivial, are crucial in shaping the bigger picture of your life. 
They lead you to fulfilling the purpose God has set for you. Life often requires clarity, not just about our current situation, but also regarding our goals and ambitions. Ask yourself, what is the blueprint for your life? How do you envision your spiritual journey, your physical health, emotional well-being, and financial aspirations? It's essential to understand these dimensions, to have a clear goal, especially when it comes to harnessing your talents and skills. How do you aim to make a difference in the world? How do you plan to be rewarded for it? Once you've identified these answers, it's time to act. Lay down those plans, no matter how small they might seem. Every little progress is still progress. Trust in the journey and the steps you take. Recall an important lesson. Always be on the move. Sometimes we find ourselves waiting, waiting for God to give us a sign, to show us the way, to present opportunities right at our doorstep. However, God's ways are different. He requires us to make the first move, to take that leap of faith, to say, I might not have all the answers right now, but I trust in Him enough to make this move. When you show that faith, that's when miracles happen. God doesn't just watch from afar. He actively participates in your journey. The moment you step out in faith, trusting in His plan, you'll find that the path becomes clearer. Resources, people, and opportunities will align themselves in ways you've never imagined. Why? Because God's promises are unwavering. He doesn't falter or change His mind. If He has assured you of His guidance and support, He will stand by it. Always remember, whatever vision or dream God has instilled in your heart, He has also provided the means to achieve it. Your task is to take that initial step, no matter how tiny or uncertain. With every step you take, trust that God is right there, guiding, supporting, and ensuring that you walk the path He has set for you. Taking action is essential, and it begins with the smallest gesture. Begin by establishing your aspirations. If you've set aspirations in the past, it's time to review and refine them. Your perspective broadens daily, evolving with each experience. Previously, perhaps your dreams were limited. Now, God encourages you to envision greater heights, reassess your aspirations, adjust them, and solidify them. Focus on every facet of your life when outlining your aspirations. Subsequently, dissect these into manageable actions, tasks you can undertake daily that inch you closer to your dream. Initially, your efforts might falter, but persevere. Embark on that journey, regardless of the uncertainty. Grasp the understanding that the moment you commit and make a move, God's strength will manifest in your life. You aren't expected to know the entire roadmap. The intricacies of the plan aren't for you to decipher entirely. Your role is to believe, to have faith in God, trusting that when you muster the courage to commence, He will be right beside you. Miracles unfold in inexplicable ways. Out of the blue, you might connect with someone pivotal. Perhaps an unexpected email arrives, a text, a direct message, or even a traditional letter. Maybe while driving, a signboard advertising a course or workshop catches your eye. Your spirit feels an inexplicable tug. It's as if you're being gently nudged to attend this course, peruse that book, network with certain individuals, or explore new horizons. This is the essence of the journey, but the first move is yours to make. The direction and magnitude of your initial step are contingent on the clarity of your goals. After all, without a destination in mind, how can one plot a course? Ponder on your ultimate goal. What do you see when you visualize your future? Turn to God's word and reflect upon his declarations about you. What role does he envision for you? Immerse yourself in scriptures that echo these sentiments. Pray to God, seek his guidance, request him to elucidate his grand plan for you in alignment with his scriptures. Pray to him to provide a vision that resonates with his principles, one that never contradicts his eternal kingdom. As his vision crystallizes in your mind and you jot down your aspirations and strategies, the journey's particulars start to emerge. Incrementally, you advance, making those tiny yet impactful strides. Marvel at the wonders that transpire subsequently. 
Picture yourself in the not-so-distant future, engrossed in a conversation with an acquaintance or sharing your story on a platform. They'll be astounded, asking, how did you embark on this journey? You'll reflect and realize it all sprouted from that singular, humble step, that decisive moment when you chose action over inertia transformed your trajectory, laying the groundwork for the life you now embrace. Every choice you make sends out ripples in the universe. Though we are often too engrossed in our immediate realities to notice, our decisions, no matter how minute, affect more than just ourselves. Think about it. God has granted us this profound ability to influence, change, and mold our surroundings and circumstances, yet we frequently underestimate our capacity. When you act in alignment with God's purpose for you, God will support you. You aren't just another being wandering aimlessly. You're an integral part of a divine plan. Every time you align yourself with this truth, you make a conscious decision to be a co-creator with God, joining hands in the act of shaping reality. It's not always about grand, sweeping gestures. Often, it's the modest, sincere endeavors that leave the most indelible marks. Consider the moment you offer assistance to someone without expecting anything in return, or when you decide to spend some quiet moments in gratitude. These moments might seem inconsequential, but they harbor profound wisdom and potential. In those still moments of contemplation, when you're searching for answers, God speaks, not in a booming voice from the heavens, but in the soft, persistent nudge you feel deep within. It's in these fleeting whispers that he imparts the deepest wisdom. It might be a gentle push to mend a relationship, to express your feelings, or even to take some time off for yourself. Each nudge, each indication, is a breadcrumb on the path that God has set out for you. When we discuss taking action, we often imagine it as a physical feat. Yet sometimes the most transformative actions are those that happen within. It could be the silent pledge to be more compassionate, the choice to let go of resentment, or the commitment to seeing the best in others. The external world is, in many ways, a reflection of the internal. When you're at peace within, when your heart resonates with love and kindness, that's what you project outward. The beauty is that God grants us countless opportunities to align our internal compass. It's never too late to choose kindness over judgment, understanding over anger, or love over indifference. Recall a situation in which you hesitated, questioning if your contribution would matter. In God's grand design, every act of love, every word of encouragement, and every gesture of goodwill has value. Just because you might not see the immediate outcome doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Your kindness might be the catalyst that turns someone's day around, and in doing so, sets them on a new trajectory. Yet, as vital as actions are, inaction too has its role. In the ebb and flow of life, there's a time to act, and a time to be still, a time to speak, and a time to listen. The key is discerning when to do which. This discernment comes from building a close relationship with God, tuning into His guidance and seeking His will before our own. For instance, in moments of conflict or confusion, rather than reacting impulsively, a moment of stillness allows us to reconnect with God, seeking His perspective and asking, what would you have me do? Often in that pause we find clarity, and what seemed like a looming challenge turns into an opportunity for growth. God, in His omnipresence, understands our struggles and our strengths. Trusting in His plan means acknowledging that we don't always have the full picture, but He does. Our journey is like reading a book page by page, while God sees the entire book from start to finish. By entrusting our story to Him, we accept that every chapter, whether filled with joy or challenges, has its place and purpose. However, while God is the author of our story, He's also gifted us with free will, the pen with which we can co-write our narrative. Every day, with each decision, we are presented with the opportunity to collaborate with God, to bring our unique essence to the world, 
and to impact lives in ways we can't even begin to fathom. It's both humbling and empowering to think that our existence, though just a speck in the vastness of the universe, holds such significance. But that's the magnificence of God's love. He cherishes each one of us, valuing our individual journeys, and eagerly awaits our choice to align with His plan. So, as you navigate the complexities of life, remember, in every moment, with every choice, you are weaving a narrative that has eternal implications. Allow God's voice to be your guiding compass and trust in the profound influence of your actions, for they reach further than you'll ever know. Claim this message by liking the video and by leaving a heartfelt amen in the comments. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and please consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you.